Shadow to create a landscape. What's a landscape? A landscape is a picture of land. So that could be a picture of a city, which would be a cityscape. It could be mountains. It could be oceans, beaches, forest, hills, even outer space. There are a lot of different resources in this packet with the beetles on the front that you can use to create your landscape. What kind of a landscape would you like to create? We are going to be using the idea of foreground, middle ground, and background again. So we talked about cityscapes and we talked about foreground, middle ground, and background. And now we're gonna talk about all landscapes. So I am turning my paper landscape orientation instead of portrait orientation. So landscape orientation means it is wider, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some lines. Now, I'm using this gray paper and I'm going to use oil pastels. You can use any paper. You could use Sharpie if you want to. You could use colored pencil. You could use watercolor on watercolor paper. It is completely up to you what you want to use. I'm going to draw out a little mock-up here to begin with. And I'm first thinking about what I want to do. So I'm taking a minute. I'm looking at the different inspirational pieces. I'm going to think about what I want to do. You can create any type of landscape that you want. So think about what you're going to do before you get started. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start on mine. And I'm thinking about what I want in the foreground. I think I'm going to create some plants in the foreground. Nope. I'm going to create some lines going back. Take your time and do your best work as always. You always want every artwork that you do to be the best artwork you've ever done, right? Now, sometimes it's okay to do things quickly, but it's also good to take your time and do your best. What do I want in the middle ground? I think I do want some fields. I'm gonna put some rows. They're usually about the same distance apart. They're equidistant. And I'm gonna make the rows on this field go the opposite way. Hmm. And then maybe this is closer. Maybe this is a scenic overlook. Maybe there's a little path here that you can walk along to enjoy the scenery. And maybe way out here, there are some buildings. I'm drawing this little building in perspective. So I'm drawing these little angles. Whenever I mess up, I create patterns. <laughs> it's a little trick. Trees around this. little farm. Maybe in the background there are mountains. Maybe this is Italy. Maybe it is Mexico. I'm not sure. I could make a little road. Oh, where's the door on this house? Is that the door? Hmm.
I've got some explaining to do. Now, in the background, I'm not gonna see as much detail. Here, I will see more detail. So maybe I will create plants. I could even put little animals here in the foreground. Maybe there will be different kinds of plants. You can take this and you can watercolor it. You can color it with marker. Or you can do it with oil pastel. I'm going to create with oil pastel. Now, this is sort of a sketch to show you foreground, middle ground, and background. I am going to use the ideas that I came up with there. I'm going to use oil pastel. Now remember, in, as things go back into the distance, they do get more dull. A lot of times when I look at mountains in the distance, I have seen that they look purple. Probably because of the haze, the atmospheric perspective makes them look purple. So I'm actually gonna make them look purple. Okay, now I'm gonna do a lot of blending here. And I'm gonna put this on a time lapse. Now, you can do whatever you want with your landscape today. You can make it really detailed and you can do it with any media. Most important thing is to be creative and do your best and have fun.